I want to take a moment to address what I know is at the top of mind for every Arizonan and every American. Governor Katie Hobbs speaking for the first time on the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Hobbs joined other politicians calling for unity and denouncing dangerous political speech. We have to come together and we have to stop inflaming this kind of rhetoric, using this kind of rhetoric. People have to not look to violence to solve their political disagreements. The governor is no stranger to political violence. Earlier this year, an Ohio man was sentenced for leaving several voicemails in 2022, threatening to kill Hobbs when she was secretary of state. And in 2021, a man from Massachusetts made a bomb threat against Hobbs, landing him in prison for three and a half years. This political violence has no place in our discourse. But Hobbs wouldn't address her own rhetoric against political opponents, like in the race for governor against Republican Carrie Lake, which had sharp words on both sides. The danger that Carrie Lake will be as governor, and it's why we can't let her win. And she wants us to give her this job. She, frankly, she doesn't deserve this job. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say that it is horrific what happened. I am glad the former president is OK. I'm deeply saddened that others were seriously injured and killed. And tonight, the governor is still standing by President Biden after Arizona Representative Greg Stanton joined a growing number of congressional Democrats calling on him to drop out of the race. President Biden is the nominee, and by all accounts, he will be. Uh, there's so much at stake this November. Meanwhile, Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego sent a letter to the director of the U.S. Secret Service demanding answers and accountability on what he is calling security failures that led to that assassination attempt. In studio, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.